Okay, to use SW Tracker, you first must create an account on the new Spotwalla website. This must be done in a web browser. It is not done in the app. So I'm going to actually do it here on the computer, a little bit easier for my old eyes. So the first thing I've done, if you notice, I've logged into new.spotwalla.com. That is the new Spotwalla website. Eventually, it will go away and the, it will be replaced as spotwalla.com. But for now, everything is talking to new spotwalla.com. I'm going to click on register. And I'm going to come in here now and I'm going to give it an email address at my domain here. And I'm going to create a username. So I've got demo at rvtechtools.com and rvtechtools.com demo is the name of my user. I'll click next and the, then it's going to ask me for my real name information. So I'm just going to put demo Davis for now. Time zone is where I will be located that my device is going to be registered to. And I'm not going to share my name publicly. This is just a, a name I'm going to create for this video. Okay, I'll click next. And now I have to go to my email to get a verification code from Spotwalla. So let's see if we can do that. My email should come in here. And there's my verification code. I'm going to grab that number and go back, paste it in here. Oops, that's not what I thought I grabbed. Let's try that again one more time. Copy 71051. Back to the verification code area. That looks better. Click Next. And now we go on to the, the remaining part of creating the account on Spotwalla. I'm just going to give it a very simple password for now. Confirm the password the same. Click Next. It says you're almost done. I'm not going to add that to my password manager. And I just have to click here to indicate that I have accepted the terms and condition and click Finish. And that is the end of creating an account on Spotwalla. Okay, now that we've created an account, we need to do one other thing. We have to create a device in Spotwalla that will be the interface, if you will, between the external world being either a, a physical device that tracks, or in our case, it's an application uh, running on your iPhone that tracks. So SW Tracker is an application that speaks to the Spotwalla website and tracks your location every five minutes at most. So what we have to do is create a Spotwalla device that knows that it's talking to your particular device on your account. Now we do that by going ahead and logging in under our new account that we just created a while back. And when you log in, it takes you to the dashboard. Now, you'll see this the first time you've logged in, that there's an issue that says you don't have any devices configured yet. If you're an existing Spotwalla customer from the old site, you do have the option right here to import your previous device from the other site. And that will actually go over to the other site, pull in the information about your device and all of its associated data. And so you won't lose your trips and data that you've had over on the old site. For purposes here, I'm simply going to go ahead and create a new device. I don't need to have a um, copy of what I've done before. And this particular account I did not have over on the old site anyway. So I'm going to come over here and click on Create Device. I have to give it a device description, so I'm just going to call it SW Tracking Device. 
and I can give it a type. And we have to pull down and come down to SW Tracker iOS device. And then we go ahead and create that. And that's all it is to it. Now we have a device in Spotwalla that is associated with our account. And so what we're going to do now is actually do a demo on the app showing you how to basic log in, connect, uh, assign your device, and continue on. Okay, so that's it for now. We'll be back here in just a little while.